The Booty Drum. You might have seen the video. The Booty Drum is created by OO, and they have a whole bunch of these innovative instruments that they're going to drop on the market. Yes, and with us we have Peter Jan, who is uh, one of the uh, designers of these instruments. Um, hi, Peter Jan. Uh, tell me, which instruments will be available soon? Uh, so we created a range, about five instruments, uh, which have all different kind of functions and which all are based on kind of controlling your, controlling your computer or playing your computer by movement. Um, and I got a few ones over here, yeah, you can see them on the pictures. Uh, one is, for example, so we have them in kind of credit card versions. We have the, the kind of the product uh, size, which is an aluminum casing, and then the kind of the credit card size, which is just kind of the board. So you can actually buy, just buy the electronics and then get the 3D print files yourself. So print your own, uh, kind of print your own casing. Awesome. And how drops, exactly uh, do these, these instruments work? Um, they all work differently. So we have one, for example, the one is the WAP, which controls kind of uh, height, so you can control a sound by kind of moving your hand up and down, uh, kind of like the Teramin uh, back then. Uh, we have one uh, which is called the Wiggle, uh, which lets you control uh, by every axis, so like X, Y, Z axis, kind of a, a conducting your sound of bending your sound. Uh, we got one which uh, lets you control a computer like Play, play, play it like an air drum and then put an effect on the drum you, uh, you're playing. Uh, we got the, like the tiniest uh, drum computer ever built, or who knows, maybe not. And then, uh, and then we got one which uh, enables you to kind of to draw music. And then, as you can see, kind of you go over your drawing and then you play your drawing in real time. So it's kind of uh, building your own physical sequencer uh, on paper and then just play it. And what kind of technology do you use for this? Uh, we use a lot of, kind of uh, sensors, uh, gyroscopes, accelerometers, um, like IR sen distance sensors. Um, a lot of stuff is already out there. It's just kind of using it in a new way uh, or in a different way. Cool. Will these instruments change the way we compose music? Um, I don't know if they're going to change it completely. I don't know if it's going to create a new style. It's, it's more kind of uh, when you would play uh, f kind of physical instruments like a guitar or a drum, it's, it's, it's a lot of kind of human, entity, human kind of touch in it. And nowadays everybody sits behind this computer and kind of almost uh, codes music. So it's a way to kind of uh, get some uniqueness and get some personality in your kind of digital music production. Is there music available that was created with these instruments? Um, I, it started when, uh, like, almost three years ago, as a graduation, as my graduation project, and I made a small video with it. And now, it's we're giving it away to artists um, to show them what they can do. Some we uh, the first idea is that what you, for example, with the Bob, that you can control it by control, uh, make it like a waving sound. But we saw already somebody using it to scratch. Uh, and use his fader by, by going his hand up and down. So it's, it's, it's not really creating a new style, it's more kind of creating options and people will do with it what they want. Okay, thank you very much. It sounds really, really awesome and I really like these instruments. And if you guys want to see more of these instruments and maybe hear it, check out the article below.